What is happening, Magnus Sites? It has been revealed. Let's see what they got for us. And make me excited for Phase 5, please. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Cosmic Wonder, where we talk all things Marvel and MCU. I'm your host, Warren Thompson. And things are about to ramp up big time for Marvel so. Studios and the MCU. Right now, we're actually on a little bit of a break. The Disney Plus Miss Marvel series just ended last week, and now we have about a month until the next one starts, which of course is She-Hulk. So, we have a tiny little viewing break right now, but as far yeah. as news is concerned, we definitely do not have a break, as SDCC is this weekend, and we're expecting some pretty big reveals from Marvel Studios. And according to a new report, it looks like we actually know all of the Disney Disney Plus shows that are going to be coming out in 2023, which means we okay. now pretty much know the entire MCU slate for 2023. And right now we're only a little over halfway done with 2022 and have plenty of Marvel projects coming up this year still. Plus, not to mention the new announcements Marvel Studios is going to have for us this weekend at Hall H at San Diego Comic-Con, Marvel has a lot in store for us in the upcoming years. And now we're in an MCU where mutants exist. Kamala Khan has made history as the first official mutant of the Marvel Cinematic Universe in our main universe, the 616 universe. Yes, Marvel Studios did introduce the Fantastic Four and the mutants in Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, but it was in the other 838 Earth universe. And I'm sure all of the events that took place in Multiverse of Madness will have repercussions, but for right now, Kamala Khan is the only mutant inside of the MCU. That has been announced. Of course, we assume that there are other mutants out there. The only question is who is going to be revealed next and how long until we get the official X-Men team in the MCU and also the Fantastic yeah. Four. The Fantastic Four were teased all the way back in San Diego Comic-Con of 2019 so hopefully this year Kevin Feige and Marvel Studios have some great answers for us and great updates. But like I said we pretty much know what is coming in 2023. <laughs> so let's talk about this recent report. Yeah, now first things out. first if you're not aware of all the projects that are going to be coming out this year let me briefly go over them. Of course Thor Love and Thunder is in theaters right now, and mm -hmm. as far as movies are concerned, we have Black Panther 2 Wakanda Forever coming out November 11th of this year, and that does it for movies. But as far as Marvel Disney Plus shows are concerned, mm -hmm. we actually have a lot coming out between now and the end of the year. We have She-Hulk, which is coming next month. We have the I Am Groot series. We have What If Season 2, and then we have Werewolf by Night, which hasn't officially been announced by Marvel Studios yet, so that should be an announcement at SDCC this weekend. Okay. And then to top it all off, we have the Guardians of the Galaxy holiday special at the end of the year. So, still a lot ah, coming this year, but let's okay. talk next year. What can we expect from Marvel Studios? Well, as far as movies are concerned, we actually know three of the movies that are going to be coming out next year. Okay. But I'm assuming that there are actually going to be four movies coming out next year, not only three. But the three movies that we know of so far are Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, and The Marvels, which is Captain Marvel. Marvel 2. A pretty great lineup so far. Now here's the thing with the future of the MCU right now. Marvel Studios has already announced all of Phase 4. Phase 4 should end with Thor Love and Thunder unless Marvel is planning on switching that up. But since they announced that Phase 4 does end with Thor Love and Thunder when they revealed the entire Phase 4 slate, we could safely assume that all of these other Disney Plus shows that they have announced are actually a part of Phase 5. And with all of the movies and the shows coming up that they've announced, they actually have content all the way through Phase 6 already. It's just a matter of what Marvel Studios okay. really wants to tell us. And keep in mind, Marvel Studios always has an order. Shows and movies have to connect with other shows and movies. That's right. the great thing about the MCU. It is a cinematic universe. It is all connected, even though some people say that it doesn't really feel like that right now. But keep in mind, we are in a building True. phase. And things are starting to come together and Kevin Feige even said, we really are going to start to see things come together and connect and see where the MCU is going. Okay. So where is it going in 2000? 2023. Well, according to a report from TVLine.com, they have listed five MCU Disney Plus shows that will be airing in 2023. And keep in mind, and they say this as well, this is not limited to only five. As it stands right now, 2022 is going to have at least seven Disney Plus shows released. Or I should say Disney Plus content, because some content like the Guardians of the Galaxy Holiday Special is just going to be one release, not an entire Disney Plus show, but a special event. 
event that is going to last around 40 minutes. So, 2023 is not limited to these five TV shows, but they are, as we know, according to this report. The first one being Secret Invasion. Now, of course, we knew that this one is coming, and this is going to be a very, okay. very big one. It's definitely going to involve the Skrull, the Kree, and who knows, after what we saw in Miss Marvel, it could even involve some mutants. But Secret Invasion is supposed to have some very heavy-hitting story plots that are really going to affect the MCU as we know it. So, this is a big one. Next, we have the Ironheart series. Now, this makes sense for this show to come out in 2023 because we know that Ironheart is going to be in Black Panther Wakanda forever. Black Panther 2 will give Didn't us the introduction that. of Riri Williams. This will give us a tiny bit of her backstory, and then she will go on to have her own show, The Ironheart Show. And this might also connect to Armor Wars as well, especially if Marvel sticks true to the comics of Armor how Wars. Riri Williams gets her Ironheart armor, because what we know about Armor Wars is that it's going going to be about how Iron Man's technology gets into the wrong hands. Now, of course, Riri Williams would be in the right okay. hands, but you can see how easily that would connect. Now, the next one that we all know is Loki Season 2, and this is where things are going to go down. Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania is going to introduce a true Kang the Conqueror and maybe even a few more variants of Kang, but Loki Season 2 is where we really dive into who exactly is Kang the Conqueror, who exactly is this new big bad, and all of his different variants that are fighting each other, threatening the entire multiverse with a multiversal war. And personally, right now, Loki is still my favorite Disney Plus show, so I'm super pumped really? for season two. Then we have the Echo okay. series, and some weren't <laughs> expecting this to come out so soon. However, the story does pick up from Hawkeye. And some fans might not be too excited about this show, but if all of the rumors end up being true, it actually is going to be pretty awesome. We're going to have Kingpin return, and Daredevil is going to make his MCU debut actually in his suit, not just Matt Murdock being a lawyer for somebody, which we saw in No Way Home and will most likely again see in She-Hulk, but yeah, full we'll Daredevil fighting. And according to some rumors, we'll we could see. even see Jessica Jones appear and okay. or Quake, which I know people have been really wanting to see for a very long time. So the Echo series does have the potential to be really, really awesome. And then, according to this report, Agatha House of Harkness is going to be coming next year. I'm interested well. in that. Now, I'm super excited for this series. I loved Agatha in WandaVision, yeah. and I'm hoping that one, Agatha Harkness is just going to be great on its own, but two, hopefully it actually leads up to a solo Scarlet Witch film. This has been reported many, many Which times by sense. many different insiders and accounts, and it kind of seems like it's all but confirmed right now. So I would definitely love to get more of a backstory about Agatha Harkness, the Darkhold, maybe even Cthon, and dare I say, Mephisto, although we won't count on that, but it will be really cool to see kind of the history of magic. Yeah, people are just going to wait for Witch and kind of taught Wanda about witchcraft. So if these are the People shows coming in 2023, yeah, that's a really great lineup. Line. And of course, keep in yeah. mind that they always wait. put other He'll shows show up eventually. Well, like Armor Wars or the Untitled Wakanda series that we're going to be getting. But as far as our 2023 Disney Plus lineup goes, it's pretty dang good so far. So be sure to let me know what you think about it in the comments down below, and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the latest Marvel news. Don't forget to give the video a like, and for live updates, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter. As always, thank you all so much for watching. Woof woof. Okay. All right, Wonder. Well, I'll tell you this. I, uh... <laughs> I, I may have heard Echo was coming, but I, I, I don't care. Um, however, he did say Kingpin would be in it, and Daredevil would be in it. So, um, they're a saving grace. So, that might actually be worth it for me. Agatha, I want to see her series... I liked her. I thought she was a, a great villain in one vision. Um, don't care about Ironheart. Iron Wars, I do want to see. I didn't know that they were coming out with that. So Iron Wars, um, What If 2, Season 2, Loki Season 2, I don't really care about, but I'm a little interested. It let me down. It let me down. Um, and Loki was my favorite villain until uh, Thanos showed up. So that shows you I was really expecting something. A lot of people liked Loki, but I think that one kind of divided the fan base. I don't think people hated it. I just think that one group hated one half liked it or loved it. Another half was kind of like, eh, hmm.
Just kind of let down. I was hoping it's gonna be a little different. Uh, I am hoping the guy that she helped is good. I really am, cause that CGI. And I like She Hulk, so I I hope it's good. I really do. Um, that's all I can think of right now. So, post comments down below. Let me know what you are looking forward to. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys later. 10 million subscribers. Subscribe to the Cosmic One Day. Woo!